Hello guys, Mr. Agophobia here. Hope you're all doing well. Have you ever wanted a build where you're tanky guys? You get overcharge, you have multiple red cores, multiple blue cores, and six skill tiers. If you want to uh, know what the build is, stay tuned. And if you like my content, like and subscribe guys, and let's get into the video. Okay, so our first piece that we're using is the mask, Punch Drunk, the named Douglas and Harding. The reason we're using this is because we get 20% pistol damage, which our build is a pistol build, so it makes sense, guys. Core attribute is 15% weapon damage. Attributes are 20% headshot damage. We're always aiming for the head. 12% critical hit damage, and the mod is 11.9% critical hit damage. So our second piece is the holster, Picaro's holster, the named Brazos. We get 10% skill haste. Hey, skill haste is always good for the build as well. Core attribute is a blue. Attributes is 12% critical damage and we get 15% weapon damage so that's basically a red core. Our next piece of gear is the Fox's Prayer knee pants, the named overlord. We get 10% rifle damage, that's good because our secondary is a rifle guys, you'll see that in a minute. Core attribute is a blue, attributes are 8% damage to targets out of cover and 6% critical hit chance. The gloves we're using, which is pretty rare guys, these are like not really used much is the bloody knuckles these actually hit really hard core attribute is 15% weapon damage 6% critical hit chance and 11.7% critical hit damage that can be 12% when you max it out and the talent if you don't have these yet is over the top damaging an enemy with a grenade or striking an enemy with a melee attack activates seeing red you'll always be hitting them with your shield and you'll see me throwing grenades and hitting them with the shield to activate the talent Seeing red grants 25% weapon damage, which is a lot of weapon damage, and 100% melee damage. The melee damage you don't really notice, guys. In PvP, maybe you will. Seeing red lasts 20 seconds and has a 60 second cooldown after completion. But, guys, if you, when it's on cooldown, if you go and hit your enemy with the shield, or just melee him, or throw a grenade at him, it will instantly get rid of the cooldown. So, you'll be able to activate the talent again so it won't have a cooldown basically which is good so you'll always have 25% weapon damage and 100% melee damage which is uh, which is pretty good people use the, these gloves for the incursion with the striker build so our next piece is the chest piece Grupo Sombra we get 15% critical hit damage core attribute is 15% weapon damage a red core the attribute is 6% critical hit chance and 12% critical hit damage and the mod is 12% critical hit damage as well. And the talent we're using is Intimidate. Well, you have bonus armor, gain one stack each second up to a max of nine. Each stack increases weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. You'll always have bonus armor, guys. You'll see why in a minute. But uh, that is actually incorrect, that description. You get three stacks every second up to nine so it only takes three seconds to get the max stacks with intimidate just to make that clear guys they haven't updated that yet for some reason i don't know why hopefully soon they will our next piece of gear and our final piece is the backpack it's a seska piece we get 10 percent critical hit chance the core attribute is a skill tier the attributes are six percent critical hit chance and 12 percent critical hit damage and the mod is 11.9% critical hit damage so this build is heavily based on crit damage and obviously crit chance most people when they make pistol builds will stack into headshot damage but this is a crit build so the talent is a bloodsucker killing an enemy adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds max stack is 10 so if you get 10 kills which is easy you'll get 100% bonus armor and remember guys our chest piece talent only activates when you get bonus armor but intimidate actually gives you loads of damage and you'll always have bonus armor and uh, remember guys you'll get overcharge and your shield will be immune and your second skill will have an overcharge as well so our primary weapon you won't be using your primary and secondaries maybe if your shield breaks but most of the time you won't I'm using the Scorpio exotic shotgun this is just um, 
an easy gun to use. You can make them uh, stagger, you can disorient and shock them. It's just an easy gun to use. But the core attributes are 15% shock damage, 12% damage to armor, and 10% damage targets out of cover. And if you don't have this gun yet and you're new to the game, septic shock shooting a target applies stacks of venom which last 10 seconds increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target one poison three disorient six shock seven targets takes additional 20 percent damage from all sources stacks no longer increase duration of stats effects is based on percentage of pellets hit on applying shot if you don't have this gun yet guys it's a must gun it's a must have because like it's just really good for pve I've never really tried it in PvP. I'm assuming it'll be pretty funny if you phone people and stuff in PvP, but uh, make, make sure you get the Scorpio guys, it's a must have. So, the secondary that I'm using, like I said before, with the Fox's Prayer Knee Punch, you get 10% rifle damage. So, I decided to use a rifle, and this is my favourite rifle in the game Artist Tool, the named rifle. Core attributes is 15% rifle damage, 16% critical hit damage, and 10% damage targets out of cover. And the talent is Perfect Rifleman, landing headshot, adds a stack of bonus, 11% weapon damage for 5 seconds, max stack is 6, so you'll get 66% weapon damage if you can hit your headshots, which is really good guys, a lot of damage that. Additional headshots refresh the duration, which is always good, but uh, it, this is actually a really good gun, I use this on my sniper builds as well. But it's always good that you get 16% uh, critical hit damage because this build is based on crit damage and crit chance. So uh, the mods just make crit chance. So our final weapon is the pistol guys, the TDI card custom. Just to inform you guys, you can only get this gun, this named variant of it, from the dark zone or named caches, just to be clear. You can't just farm this gun. From what from what I've experienced anyway. And so the core attributes is 15% pistol damage, and instead of another attribute, this gun gives you a skill tier when you have it equipped. So if you don't have it equipped, you don't get that skill tier, just to make that clear as well. And the talent I'm using is Future Perfect. Weapon kills grant one skill tier for 15 seconds, stacks up to three times. Weapon kills at skill tier 6 grant overcharge for 15 seconds, overcharge cooldown is a minute 30. But uh, this gives us 3 skill tiers, this weapon guys, which is really good. Well it technically gives us 4, so you get, if you get 3 kills that's 3 skill tiers, and then you get a skill tier with the gun, so that's 4 skill tiers. We've turned our backpack into a skill tier, so that's 5 skill tiers, and we get a skill tier from the technician so we have six skill tiers and like it says here weapon kills at skill tier six grant overcharge so you'll have overcharge every minute and a half which is a uh, really good guys so your shield will be invulnerable and uh, your secondary skill what you use will have overcharge as well so the first skill is obviously the bulwark ballistic shield we're tier six because of all the blues we have and all the skill tiers that we'll acquire through the gear sets, the specialization and the weapon. But the mods I have is 1% damage bonus per enemy, active regeneration and damage bonus per enemy again. That's the mods we get with that. So the sec second skill that I'm using is the, ha the purple hive you get from the technician specialization which just basically heals your skills all your friends skills so if you drop the hive it'll just heal skills in that radius in that hive that's what this that's what the skill does we're already tier three because we have our backpack which is a skill tier we have the technician which is a skill tier and we have the, the skill tier from the pistol so we're already tier three with this hive so when you get the three kills with the pistol you'll be at tier six easily and then you get a kill you'll be overcharged so this hive, if you use this, will completely heal your shield, like completely from like 5% to 100. It's really good when it's overcharged as well, it's even better. But you don't have to use this hive, you can use any other skill you like, but I use this hive obviously because it heals your shield, and this build is based around the pistol. So you know, pistol, shield, best combo. 
and then the mods is 9.9 percent .9 stim efficiency four stim charges and 10 percent duration so this is the overall build guys you see we have two blues we have Picaros, and we have fox's prayer that's two blues so you're a bit tanky 1.1 million armor we have three reds we have our dnh mask we have grupo and we have the exotic gloves that's three reds so that's 45 percent weapon damage already we get 25 percent from giving melee so that's a lot of damage already guys we get bonus armor when we get kills with bloodsucker you can get up to 100 percent so that activates intimidate so we'll get even more damage and then the pistol you're using you get the skill tier so you get four skill tiers you get the skill tier and the attributes and you get three if you get three kills which is easy because we have tons of damage we have a skill tier from the backpack so that's already five skill tiers and we get a skill tier from the technician so that's six skill tiers three reds two blues and loads of damage from talents but uh, it's actually a really good build guys I didn't expect it to perform this well you'll see in the gameplay but uh, give it a go guys it's, it's, it's actually really good but uh, I'll show you the stats now so for the shotgun we have 54% crit click chance and 155.5% crit click damage which is decent for a shotgun especially and then our rifle we have 49% crit click chance and 171.5% crit click damage which is always good that's pretty high crit damage and the talent is 66% weapon damage which is like stupidly good not many people use the artist tool I don't know why because it it does hit really hard especially with sniper rifle builds but our main gun is the pistol which our crit chance is 60% max that's the max cap for crit chance our crit damage is 155.5% crit click damage and our headshot damage is 140% headshot damage because we're always aiming for the head obviously guys because the head headshots always do more damage I'll scroll down the rest of the stats guys you see we have 50% pistol damage bonus because we get 20% from DNH we get specialization pistol damage and we get pistol damage from the actual pistol guys you see there on the right Douglas and Arden gunslinger we get it from the specialization and we get it from the pistol So specialization we're using is the technician. The reason I'm using the technician is because you get amped the passive talent, which is a skill tier for free, basically. We get the hive that I'm using. You don't have to use the hive, like I said in the, the previously guys. You can use what skill you want. But I use it to heal my shield, which you'll have overcharge as well. And then we have 10% skill healing, enhanced diagnostics, which is always good. We get 15% increased sidearm damage for your pistol. We get 15% increased shotgun damage for your Scorpio shotgun. And we get 15% increased rifle damage for our artist tool guys. But uh, that's the stuff I'm using on the spec. Specialization, the technician. Basically if you want 6 skill tier guys, technician is a must. Especially if you want the build that I'm using now. 6 skill tiers, 3 reds and 2 blues. So you're tanky as hell. You do tons of damage. And you have overcharging six skill tiers which is mental guys but uh, let me know what you think of the build in the comments uh, give it a go guys thanks for watching and happy hunting